Hello. In this video, we will cover section 2.4, which is on summarizing categorical distributions. The concepts of shape, center, and spread that we used for summarizing numerical distributions do not make sense for categorical distributions. The reason is that the order when graphing categorical distributions is flexible. One author may choose one ordering of categories, while another chooses a different ordering. As a result, the center and shape are going to be different for each author. That said, we can still look at typical values and variability for categorical distributions. The category that occurs most often in a categorical distribution can be considered the typical value. We call this the mode. There can be more than one mode if two categories have close to the same number of observations, so they don't need to be exactly the same but close, then the distribution is considered bimodal. If three or more categories have close to the same number of observations, then the distribution is considered multimodal. Here's a couple examples. Below are two examples of class studies, or a class like on a society level. In both, notice that the middle class is the mode. So the tallest bar is going to be the mode. So one observation that you can make if you look closely at these two, uh, at these two charts is that the middle class in the first chart in 2008 was above 50%. The middle class in the second is below 50%. This is kind of some anecdotal evidence that at least the way that people feel, because these are surveys, is that the, that the middle class is shrinking, which is a, a, common, a common thought that many have. For variability in categorical distributions, the key term to think of is diversity. If the distribution has a lot of diversity, meaning many observations spread across many categories, then its variability is considered high. If a distribution has multiple modes or near modes, meaning multiple bars that are near the same height, then we would say that it has high variability. If, if most of the observations are in a single category or a single tall bar, then it has low variability. Okay, so here are some two examples. Which of the following schools has a more diverse ethnic composition? So we go through and we look at these. You can see that in school B, basically all of the students are of one ethnicity. So we would say that that has very low variability, very low diversity. Okay, meanwhile, in school A, uh, ethnicities are spread out over multiple categories. So we would say that this has more variability or more diversity. When summarizing a categorical distribution, it is important to comment on the typical value or the mode and the variability or the diversity. This is also true when comparing distributions. So let's look at an example. According to some experts, about 51.5% of babies currently born in the United States are male. But among people between 100 and 104 years old, there are four times as many women as men. How does this happen? So what we can do to figure that out is we can investigate by looking at causes of death. So here we have two tables. So we can go through and we can look at these tables. And we can think, of them, think about them in terms of comparing them you know, using our summary information that we just, we just discussed. Okay. So, um, but first, before we do that, there's actually something that has not been discussed up to this point that I do need to point out because it's very important when it comes to comparing uh, distributions, when it comes to comparing graphs. And that is you need to look at the vertical axis to see if there's any difference there. So if you look at the vertical axis, you can see that these are not the same, okay? Um, this vertical axis of so motor vehicle accidents here, this goes up to 35 uh, deaths per 100,000, meanwhile, a, the chart, the bar over in the second chart, which is roughly the same height, uh, is only at 16. So the motor vehicle causes of death are actually close to twice, tw close to twice as high uh, for men as for women. Okay, so with that out of the way, so next we want to go through and think about the the mode. All right, so uh, or the typical value. So in both of these distributions, the mode is. Uh, motor vehicle accidents. So motor vehicle accidents, what we could say is we could say that, that those are the leading cause of death. And then second, we can look at in, as far as the variability or the diversity, right? And so if you compare these two, you can see that 
the bars are of ignoring the motor vehicle bar, but the, re the remaining bars are of close to the same height. That's not true for the women. That's not true for, for the females. Uh, so for males, the, there's, more, there's more diversity. There's more variability, right? There's, there's a more equal uh, cause of death uh, other than the motor vehicle accidents. Whereas for women, it's more concentrated in diseases and other, and then you have you know, um, less variability. You know, there's less diversity because these categories, other categories are much smaller bars. Okay, so closer to equal size bars means more variability. Uh, if you have you know, less, the, the, the bars are not close to equal. In this case, more separation in terms of the bar height means less uh, diversity or, or less variability in terms of the actual underlying distribution. Okay, so I think I typed up most of that on this page, right? So the first thing to notice is that the vertical scale is not the same. The rates of death are much higher for men than for women. So while more babies are born, while more male babies are born than female, fewer men make it to 100 than women because the hot cause of death, because the rate of death is higher. Uh, next, the typical value or the mode. Uh, both distributions have motor vehicle accident as the typical value or the mode. And then finally, the variability. The male distribution has more variability uh, or diversity across the categories than the female distribution. So the way that you could translate that is that the, there's a more consistent high death rate across the categories for men than there is for women. Let's look at a homework example. <clears throat> Applicants to California community colleges are asked to indicate one of these educational goals at the time of application transfer to a four-year institution, acquire an AA degree, acquire a CTE certificate, job retraining, or just personal enrichment. In a group of 500 applications, describe a bar graph of this data that would have the least amount of variability, and then a bar graph that would have the most amount of variability. Okay, and we're talking about variability of the underlying uh, distributions, not the variability of the visual graph. Okay, <clears throat> so the bar graph with the least variability in the underlying distribution, so low variability means low diversity, would have everyone with the same educational goal. That graph would have one super tall bar. So one super tall bar represents a distribution that has low variability, low diversity. The bar graph with the most variability would be one where the applicants are evenly divided between all the categories. So that means all the bars are the same height. So if all the bars are the same height, then that implies that there is a lot of diversity or a lot of variability in the underlying distribution. Okay, so that is the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.